the dangerous journey being taken by young migrants from Egypt to Italy. Now, while some may end up in state care, others end up suffering a much worse fate, forced into prostitution or the drug trade for survival. Emma Albergir reports from Rome. A man approaches a boy for sex at a train station. Two boys holding drugs for criminal gangs. These are just a few of the stories of children exploited and trafficked for criminal gain right here in the heart of Rome. Rome's Termini station is one of the country's main rail terminals. This is where thousands of illegal migrant children arrive, desperate to make money however they can. We've been directed here by local contacts who tell us the boys work the corners on the streets outside. As we drive past, as if on cue, we see a group of Egyptian kids approached by an Italian man. Further down the streets, other Egyptian kids are looking around. They seem to be on the lookout. We watch as money and something else is exchanged. It's broad daylight and we are right in the center of Rome. And yet groups of boys were clustered together. We saw them in a known pickup location. As soon as they saw the camera, they disappeared. One of the boys later agrees to talk to us. He is one of the thousands of Egyptian children that have disappeared out of the Italian care system. For his safety, we've disguised his identity and his voice. He calls the sex trafficking and drug selling he and some of his friends are involved with the illegal stuff. The illegal stuff, that's the easiest. And not just here in Rome, but across the country. A friend who will be working in these kind of things will tell you, come, I help you, and he'll take you with him. I ask if it's hard living this way. Yes, but what are the options? Our parents spent thousands to get us here. We have to pay it back. Table football, ping pong, pretty typical teenage pursuits, but this isn't your usual local youth center. The Shiva Kozera Center is a refuge for these unaccompanied children. It's somewhere where they can have a meal, meet friends, perhaps even remember how to be children again, if only for a little while. We'd come to Rome as part of an investigation retracing the steps of the unaccompanied Egyptian children arriving in Italy in their thousands. Taking advantage of Italian law, which allows children smuggled here to remain in country legally. Impoverished Egyptian parents are paying thousands of dollars for the mirage of a better life. The lucky few stay in the Italian government-run children's homes, but thousands of others disappear, making their way to the big cities. They are ready to do whatever they can to earn money. And this means very often exploitation. Unfortunately, they found another alternative, which was prostitution. So either they were exploited or they thought that this was the only option available to, again, earn money and send them back for their families. Very often we have heard uh, children crying and saying they didn't want to come, they didn't want to stay they would love to go back to their families to their country Mahmoud works for save the children he translates for the kids helps them understand the system listens to their stories the family anyways they are not really they don't care for this experience they care only for the money that arrives there they don't ask how did you get the money they don't ask about nothing and even I think if we tell them in the country that these guys are making something illegal I don't think they will mind. They will say, okay, if you send me money, never mind. Emmanuel Fattori is the chief of police in Rome's Termini station. He's seen some of the worst of the child exploitation up close. Sex trafficking, drug selling, even robbery. To the gangs, children, he says, are an invaluable asset. So they use children under the age of 14 because according to Italian law, they cannot be taken to trial. Fedori and his team have found cases of children whose parents paid for them to be smuggled into Italy, who are then trafficked by the very same criminal network, specifically for the purpose of committing these crimes. But his jurisdiction is limited to this station. 
We need to fight more decisively the abandonment of the children by the parents. But the parents, of course, are far, far away. And whether they don't know the truth or don't care, the tide of children flooding Italian shores flows on unchecked, bringing with it lost childhoods and young lives destroyed, perhaps beyond repair. Nemal Bagher, CNN, Rome.